This is a fly pattern that nobody should be without. To tie it, we'll start off with a size 14 hook, insert it into our vise, and securing our thread to the hook shank. Snap your excess free, and continue wrapping backwards towards the start of the hook bend. At which point, we'll grab some flash, here I'm using yellow, securing a few strands to the hook shank, and wrapping to the back of the fly. Snip your excess free, secure, and grab some yellow dubbing. We'll pull a few fibers free and mix it with some yellow CDC. This will help add some buoyancy, as well as give our dry fly that nice buggy look. At which point, we'll create a dubbing noodle and begin wrapping it forward in closed touching spirals, building up a slight transition as we work towards the head of the fly, leaving some room for our following steps. continuing to add or tighten your dubbing as needed. At which point, we'll grab some more CDC. This time, I'm using yellow oiler puffs. Measure it to be about as long as your flash and secure it to the top side of your fly. Snip your excess free and cover up your tag ends, laying down a thread base for our following steps. We'll then grab a yellow feather pinching the fibers together and measuring them to length. Secure tightly, once again to the top side of your fly, covering up the CDC. And snip the excess free. Covering your tag ends and grabbing some Grizzly Saddle Hackle. We'll strip a few fibers free and secure it just in front of our previous feathers. Bring your thread forward and snip the excess free. At which point, we'll grab our feather and begin wrapping it forward in closed touching spirals. And if you'd like to win this fly, comment hashtag flies in the comments below. Continue wrapping it forward until you reach your thread. At which point, we'll secure it tightly in place before pulling it backwards and adding a few additional wraps in front. Before snipping the excess free. If you used a white thread like I did, color in your thread with a yellow sharpie and whip finish to build up a small head and hold it all together. Snip your thread free, and this is a fly pattern that I like to use to imitate yellow sallies. An insect you'll find in many water bodies is extremely bright in color and one of the smallest of all stone flies, and I'd highly suggest giving it a try. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.